She went crazy viral and I'm very excited to try her friend. Hi, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to be trying out some Laura Mercier goodies. I have the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation and her new little friend. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer. I have already prepped my skin using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum and Magic Cream as well as the pre 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 Protecting Primer. <sighs> say that 10 times fast, I couldn't even say it once. And I'm gonna be so honest, I just did this video and then I realized I wasn't recording. So I've just scraped it all off and we're redoing it. So I kind of already have my first impressions, but let's pretend that I don't. <laughs> This is the foundation. My shade is 0N1 and as I put it on, I will read you some facts. So there are 32 shades. I'll put up a picture of the shade range now. I've just done like two pumps on my hand. I'm just going to go in with the Real Flawless Foundation Brush. I bought this without the foundation just because of how soft this brush was. I've had this off for a little while and I love it with the tinted moisturizer. That spot has been through it today. Poor spot. I've literally just had to scrape this makeup off. <sighs> but the shade range. So it's up on screen right now for the foundation. There are 32 shades, I believe. And something I was looking at earlier is in the three palest arms. Um, so when I say palest, you know what I mean? All the shade ranges seem pretty consistent of going up, you know, shade by shade and then different undertones there. So pretty good shade range. But then if you look at that final arm, the one on the right hand side, the deepest arm, if you look at number six, which are the three, one away from the bottom, that's shade six. And then the one right at the bottom is shade seven. What a big jump between six and seven. So like, yes, you can see you have a wide range from, you know, the lightest shade, which on here is OC1 to the darkest shade, which is 7N1. But actually you've got a huge gap between your next shade and number seven. Laura Mercier isn't the only brand who does this. I have seen this a lot. Um, I'm sure we all have, unfortunately. But it was just, you know, if you've ever watched any of my other um, foundation or concealer videos, I always put up a shade range picture as long as I can find one. And I always mention what the shade range looks like. But this foundation looks so good. I just realized I didn't do any of the claims. So it is a weightless, waterproof, long-wearing foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skin with medium build coverage and 12 hours of fade free wear. Now, I am not going to be wearing this for 12 hours. It's about 10, 4 o'clock. So I will probably be wearing this for 5 to 6. But she's stunning. She looks really good. She's very smooth. Yeah, I like her a lot. She's covering all the redness around my spot quite nicely. The spot is very 3D. Like, that's... A small mountain if you will um, and she's a little crusty if I'm being honest so I'm pretty impressed with the coverage on top of that and I love this shade for me this is 0N1 so it's a nice neutral tone and I just love a neutral tone I just have a little bit more on the back of my hand that I'm just gonna build up in the center of my face for a tiny bit more coverage because why not <sighs> because I love coverage that's why actually <laughs> That is exactly why. And I've not actually had any lunch, so I'm starving. I was going to have lunch after I finished the video and then I suddenly went to do my final thoughts when my full face was done. And I looked and it was on. So you win some, you lose some. And today I lost. But it means I'm getting another go with the foundation. And also you're getting my like first impression um, and like first thoughts in a more concise version than they probably would have been in the first video at least. So I'm trying to look for the positives here. Moving on to the concealer. Oh, and the foundation is 38 and the foundation brush is also 38. This brush, so smooth. I really, really like the brush. Even if I don't like the um, foundation at the end of this, the brush is so nice. And then the concealer, so it says it is a weightless serum infused multitasking concealer. It's a cute little component and it's cute that they match with the colors. Um, a weightless serum infused multitask concealer that quickly brightens, hydrates and smooths while providing medium coverage, crease proof, cake free formula, up to 16 hours of wear time and a natural finish. And there are 22 shades and I'll put up the shade range now. And we've got that same issue between shades, shade ranges, six and then that big jump to seven, same as the foundation. 
I mean, at least they're consistent. One thing about the concealer is that it's the same shade as the foundation. I would have loved, it says brightens. This shade is not gonna brighten for me, honey. These are both in the shade 0N1, so they're both the lightest shade, the shade Silk, um, in the foundation, so it's not gonna be brightening on me, unfortunately. But if you could get um, a 1N1, then 0N1 would be really nice and brightening for you, but it's not for me. And it does oxidize just a little. See, that's what I'm saying. My thoughts are just more concise because I've done this already. And I also know that I preferred blending this out with a brush over my little concealer sponge. This is just from Smashbox. And this is from Coco. It's, it's dirty, okay? Don't look at it. Um, it's from Coco Cosmetics by Chloe, which is now, is it Clomana? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I really don't know um, what they were changing it to. I know how to spell it, <laughs> but that's it. I didn't really need to put it down the bridge of my nose in the center of my forehead. It's not really doing that much brightening. Um, but just for, you know, normal normal routine's sake, I guess. This is a really nice and smooth duo though. Both of them are very smooth. Definitely feeling hydrating. This um concealer says it's a serum infused, so I wonder what the um I can't see where it says what the ingredients are, but this feels very nice. Very nice indeed. I mean, that is very stunning. I'm going to put a bit more concealer as well, just because I did that last time and it built up quite nicely. Stunning. It built up quite nicely and yeah, because I want to, okay? The foundation has already done a nice job of concealing that spot anyway, but when I put this on last time, it just gave it a little bit of something extra you know and now while that sits a little to dry down i am just gonna go in with my vive bronzer put a little on there and then blend it out in a second and this just well the vive bronzer is just banging anyway but it does seem to work really well with this foundation i love that bronzer so much I'm gonna go in with a new find. This is the Cream Blush Stick from Summer Fridays. This is in the shade Dusty Mauve. Dusty Rose, I was close. And this is just a Made by Mitchell brush. This is MF1, and that brush I used for the um, bronzer, by the way, was just a random stippling brush. I think I got it in like a beauty box years ago. And it's my favorite brush ever, but it's got no words on it it just says beauty uk i want to say words i mean it's got no like number or powder brush or stippling brush or anything like that all it says is beauty uk so i need to see if i can get something similar or just another one of them but i've had it for years it has been through it and i just can't get rid of her i'm just trying to tap around the concealer to try and keep it on a little friend I mean, I feel like I've brought a small amount of attention to it <laughs> by putting on more coverage, but it has taken away the redness. It's just the bump you can see. So I'm not mad, actually, especially if you think that's a medium coverage. Not bad. I'll just swipe it across my lid. I think that looks so nice under the eyes. Yeah, I like the concealer. My one thing is I wish there was a lighter shade for me. And then on the topic of shades, I've already mentioned, it'd be nice if it was just a little more. My battery died, but the only bit that you missed, I just checked the footage, the only bit that you missed is me finishing blending that concealer and then saying, I'm gonna add everything else to my face and come back to show you the final result and give you my first impressions. So it was just the last little bit at least, because if I had to redo this whole thing for a third time, I think I would have screamed. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see, but my cat is just here. So if you're wondering what I'm staring at, it's her. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. But so this is the full face. I love how it turned out, but I was using other products that I know and love. So, but the foundation, first impressions, really enjoying. And the concealer, also enjoy. To be honest, I think my main kind of points are... They both feel very smooth, very creamy, both a nice medium coverage, and I can definitely see that. 
the only thing for me is the shade range is a bit jumpy but also my personal shade for the concealer I would have loved for it to be a little bit lighter so that I could get that brightness that you know one of the claims was that it brightens my eyes don't like that bright but it's because the concealer was the same shade as the foundation so you know it swings and roundabouts but it's very smooth it played really nicely with all the other products and it is now how long just after 4 p.m so this is where we will start the wear test so yeah so it's about half past 10 and this is what the makeup is now looking like i've been wearing this for about six and a half hours and i love how it looks conclusion on the foundation and the concealer so i've been wearing this for six and a half hours i have very oily skin i don't know if you can see my cat she's just kind of just kind of sat here chilling she just wants to know the gossip about the foundation and the concealer like we all do but the foundation is a banger i mean my skin looks gorgeous it is smooth it is thin it is weightless weightless is the perfect description to be honest of the concealer and the foundation they're both very smooth weightless perfecting i think are great descriptors for what they've done the medium coverage is a definite yes exactly as described i mean this foundation bangs i do have oily skin you can see that i'm getting some oil come through especially next to my nose but i'm not kind of getting that on my forehead so i'm pretty happy with how it's coping against my oily skin but the foundation is a definite yes and it also did pretty well against that big red spot that i had and the concealer is the same it's very smooth it still looks very smooth it's barely barely creased it did say it was crease proof or like creaseless i can't remember which what the wording was but it said no creases which isn't quite true if i look up you can see there's tiny little crease here that kind of just set it in line and then there's some creasing right in the middle of uh, like the center just on my left eye so not quite true but it's pretty pretty smooth and it's very much almost there um so i'm very impressed with both if you are looking for a new foundation or looking for a new concealer i think these are stunning they definitely definitely have made my skin look really smooth really radiant really healthy they're a thousand percent a yes from me and also if you like the ilia true skin serum concealer kind of reminds me of like this kind of reminds me of that and i like that concealer as well it's still a medium coverage it's not super full but it's smooth it's soft it's hydrating these are a yes from me but i will leave the video there because i think my cat is wanting some attention some more attention she won't leave me alone today she won't leave me alone no she won't leave me alone and i love it but that is where i'm gonna end the video are you gonna say bye no but that is where i'm gonna end the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you did enjoy this video please remember to like and subscribe to my channel it means so much to me and yeah any comments you want to let me know please let me know down below i'd love to hear from you are you gonna pick up the concealer are you gonna pick up the foundation but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one